So we go with the flow. Just love me harder. Have no mercy on me. Just tell me louder. If you're loving me, just love me harder. Have no mercy on me. Tell me louder. If you're loving me. Hello everybody and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Emma. I'm a 19 year old teen mom to my beautiful daughter, London May. And if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you're a part of the team. And while you're at it, turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss any of our videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know we love you guys so much and thanks for coming back to another video. It truly means the world. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my day in the life of a teen mom while being in school. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get right into the video. I don't normally get a chance to take showers in the morning, but since I was already up for my Zoom call, I decided to take one. And that leads me to today's sponsor, SparkPod. SparkPod sent me this filtered shower head. Now you might be asking yourself, why the heck do I need a filtered shower head? I don't drink my shower water. However, in your normal shower water, there are toxins present that strip your hair and skin of its natural oils. This can make your hair brittle, dry, and frizzy, resulting in more split ends, as well as clogging your pores, which causes acne. And these harsh chemicals also accelerate premature aging, similar to extensive sun exposure. But don't you worry, this shower head removes chlorine, fluoride, and other toxins before they can hurt you. Oh, and these toxins don't just harm your outsides, but your insides too. Some problems you could face are respiratory issues, mental health issues, and even cancer. A study done in Hartford, Connecticut showed women with breast cancer were 50 to 60% more likely to have high levels of chlorination byproducts than women without cancer. Just goes to show what goes on your body also goes into your body. I am passionate about educating myself and others to live healthier lives. And one easy way to do this is just by getting this shower head. You can literally just Amazon Prime it. Yes, I said Amazon, right to your front door. On top of that, use my code 10TEAMTAYLOR for 10% off. Right out of the shower, I love to moisturize. It makes my skin feel so nice and plump and moisturizing is so important. I don't care who you are, moisturize your skin. It's a necessity. Now I'm just gonna spray in some heat protectant and I've been trying to avoid using heated tools such as blow dryers and straighteners and curlers recently just to help my hair be healthier, but desperate times call for desperate measures. And since I just needed to hurry up and get on my Zoom call, I just blow dried my hair real quick, then some chapstick to finish off the look and I ran upstairs to fill up my water. It's so important to drink water first thing in the morning and it also just makes you feel so awake and alive and rejuvenated. I actually get to do my college courses right in my living room. It's awesome. Since before COVID-19 happened, I was an online college student. So I did all of my courses online and this just works best for my schedule because I can do it when London is sleeping or if Brandon has her. It's just really flexible, which is awesome. However, this week was finals week. So that meant I had a set time that I had to be on for a Zoom call, which wasn't a big deal. And my professor is amazing and he's really accommodating. And he said that if London needed to be in for some of the Zoom call, that was totally fine. And it was right when London usually wakes up, which just meant I got to bless everybody on the Zoom call with my adorable daughter. I think it definitely brightened everyone's mornings and they were all so sweet and so happy to see London. And yes, I'm breastfeeding London. London is 21 months and I'm still proudly breastfeeding her. Breastfeeding continues to be a valuable source of nutrition and disease protection for as long as breastfeeding continues. I will have articles linked down below about breastfeeding past a year, which is like the norm, because there are so many benefits to both mom and baby for breastfeeding past a year. And there are a lot of uneducated people, so please go educate yourself. I'll have the articles linked right in the description. Then London helps me grab a diaper. She is so helpful and loves to be a part of everything, which I love. And this is the only diaper that's changed to see because she wears a diaper at night and then during the day she's potty trained and I feel like that's an invasion of her privacy to share that on the internet for the world to see. So you will not be seeing her use the potty ever, but just know she does. <laughs> 
Before breakfast, we like to get down a puzzle. This one is an animal puzzle because London loves animals, and so this is probably one of her favorite ones to do. But puzzles help children develop finger strength, puzzle perseverance, and problem-solving skills. You like puzzles? Yeah. Lundy's playing with the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. Did that melt your heart as much as it melted mine? I was just doing my voiceover and London came in and she just said that and it was so cute. And I was gonna read you the clip, but I just can't, she's too cute. Anyways, we follow Marie Montessori's method to learning and playing and it helps the child reach self-reliance and independence. And I absolutely love it. I can link some articles down below about it. There's a lot to Montessori, but one of my favorite skills it teaches is focus. Like when you grab a toy, you just grab one toy, complete that task, and then put it away, which is an awesome way to teach kids at a young age how to focus on just what is in front of them. You guys do not understand how funny London is. Before we went upstairs to make breakfast, she informed me that she wanted her socks and shoes on. And of course I said, okay, because I love making my little girl happy. And I'm actually teaching her how to put on her socks and shoes, but today she didn't want to try, which is totally okay. Two, one, two, three. Good job. Okay, now you get to cut this. Cut it. Ready? Cut it. I'm gonna cut it. Good job. a ton of practical life skills just because it is so good for her to learn those life skills and she really enjoys it she much rather help me than have me do it by myself and I love doing things with her so it's a win-win and on top of London and I just having a lot of fun making this smoothie together and spending good quality time together she's also building her self-esteem and her confidence the best thing you can give your kids is just your quality time. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter how many toys they have. The one thing that only you can give them is your time and Good spend job. time with them. And I love spending time with London and I really treasure the time I get to spend with her because I am a stay-at-home mom and I know so many parents don't get the chance that I have and I just don't take it for granted. I sure love her. <gasps> oh yes, thank you. Okay. Stop. Should we do this one now? Yes. Yes. Oh, that looks so yummy. Doesn't it look yummy? Yep. Yeah? Good. Mommy. Yeah, mommy's is good. Is it yummy? Yes. Mommy, mommy. Here. That is good. That is yummy. Did you say that's good? Oh, yummy. It's good. Oh, good. Look. You like it? Yes. Oh, good. I just gave London her smoothie and started making breakfast. Don't get me wrong, I love having my little sous chef, my little kitchen helper, but in some cases it's just not appropriate like to make eggs because she would just crack the eggs on the counter and make a mess because she loves to clean up messes and she knows if she makes a mess, she gets to clean it up. I make a lot of different breakfast foods and just food in general because I don't want London to be a picky eater, but I also like to let her choose what she wants to eat. And today she said bacon, eggs, and a smoothie. Not in that exact order, but you know, I narrowed down the options. Tell me in the comments what your favorite breakfast food is. French toast, eggs, whatever. And then of course London wanted to help me, so she sprinkled on some cheese and popped in the toast into the toaster. Like I said, I try and let her help whenever she can because she loves it. Now I'm just plating our food and I toasted some bread as you saw and then I just added some peanut butter onto it. London loves peanut butter, so do I. And just some extra protein. I don't like to eat breakfast by myself, so I always eat with her. I don't just, you know, make her her food and then eat my food. We always eat together and just chat because I love chatting with her and it's so important to talk to your kids. 
how can one be so cute even just drinking water I don't know then after breakfast I do her hair and get it out of her face she has super long beautiful hair I love it today we just went with the classic pigtails you can't go wrong with pigtails I get questions about London's hair a lot because it's really silky and I just use baby bum conditioning detangler in it whenever we wash her hair we just use the honest shampoo body wash and then we will spray the detangler in it after the shower oh my gosh another practical life skill who would have thought we brush our teeth together and obviously after she gets in and brushes because I want her to learn how to brush her teeth I get in and get all the nooks and crannies but it's important for her to learn how to brush her teeth and feel confident while doing so and it's so cute like I just I can't get over her she's the cutest thing ever <laughs> Before I put London to bed, I always like to play with her and just get her last squirms out and then we read. She loves to read before she takes a nap or before she goes to bed at night. We always read books. She's doing this new thing where she remembers exactly what page the balloons or the cake is on and so she goes straight to them and it's so precious. She's just way too precious for this world. And then once she sleeps, I take this time to go on my phone because I try not to be on my phone when she's awake. So this is now my time to cuddle her and to respond to DMs, um, respond to emails, and just cuddle her because she's only little once. After she woke up from her nap, she asked me to read her a book. And of course I said yes, because that just meant more cuddle time. So we just read a book and cuddled. After our little cuddling and book sesh, it was time to head upstairs and it was time for London to have a little snack. Today's snack was crushed up pistachios, which are bursting with fiber, minerals, and unsaturated fat. And then also some yummy seaweed. I am obsessed with seaweed and I'm so happy London loves it too. Seaweed actually has a lot of fiber in it, so it's really yummy and good for you. After London finished her snack, we headed outside and today we took out her bike. She loves hey, her new bike. London? We just got it. Mm -hmm. train. You want to ride on it? We have her helmet ordered. It just hasn't gotten here yet, so Whee! don't worry. Want to know the best part about living in Colorado, or just a cold state in general? There's ice on the driveway, and so you can pretend that you are a little figure skater and just mess around. Brandon was able to get lunch off, so I had to make something fast, so today I just made some pasta, and then the best meatballs in the entire world are from Ikea. So these are just some Ikea meatballs that you'll see in a second, but I did make a good amount of food just so we could have leftovers, plus London was eating, I was eating, and Brandon. If you guys haven't tried Ikea's meatballs, I promise you, try them. They are so good. I love going to Ikea and eating at their little bistro, but sadly it's close to COVID. I can't wait till they're back open. London had some corn, cheese, meatballs, pasta. I had meatballs, pasta, and corn, and Brandon just wanted a lot of meatballs and pasta, so that's what we had. Are you even a toddler mom if your kid doesn't try and feed you? I don't think so. London is always feeding me her food. Now I'm just making London a sensory activity and in case you're confused with what a sensory activity is, it is what it sounds like. Um, it's an activity that stimulates your child's senses and this one is just made with garbanzo juice. And what you do is you whisk up the garbanzo bean juice for a very, very long time. We are looking for a shaving cream kind of consistency, but it is way too hard to do with your hands. You'll be doing it for 20 minutes. So just pop it into a blender and let it do all the work because I promise it's not worth whisking it. Just pop it in. And also London loved the garbanzo beans. Um, she really enjoyed them. So she was just snacking on them while we made this. Do you think it's done? Okay. 
How is it? Mommy. It's a good? Mommy. Mommy. Kind of tastes like whipped cream, but not as sweet. I wish I could take credit for this idea on my own, but I found it on TikTok. I'll have the TikTok linked in the description of this video, along with a lot of other things. But it's a really easy recipe. Like I said, you literally just put garbanzo bean water into a blender and it gets nice and fluffy like shaving cream. You could use shaving cream and just put some food coloring in it, but the reason I use garbanzo bean water is because it's edible and London still puts things in her mouth sometimes, especially things that look like food or ice cream like this. So I just went with the safer option of just using garbanzo bean water and she was obsessed with it. She had such a great time. I highly encourage you to do this. I think this would be fun for kids of all ages, even older kids. I mean, I played with it a little, I'm gonna be honest. Is it yummy? Magical. 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 Oh, it's magical? Yes. <laughs> I'm glad it's magical. I love you. Oh, look at that. That is magical. That is definitely magical. All done? More? Okay. Yeah. Okay, you can do it. I don't. Hi, pretty girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna back away. Back away. What are you doing? Why are you laying like that? Are you sleeping? Sleepy. You're sleeping? Yeah. Okay, where? Ready? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, monkey? <laughs> you so silly. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> silly monkey. <laughs> silly monkey. <laughs> silly monkey. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next video, we're sending all of our love and all of our positivity. We love you guys. You got me? You got me? Me. Um, don't lick me. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. <sighs> <laughs>